Now, I probably don't need to tell you that nepotas or ketmins are terrific plants for a sunny, well-drained spot. They're wonderful, drought-tolerant plants that deer normally don't bother with. They are great for filling out at the fronts of beds and borders. They look lovely with things like lavender and roses. You can use them either as single specimens in raised beds and rockeries and things like that. And they make terrific edgers for falling down over the edges of walls and fences and so on. But what's interesting about this variety, which is called Cat's Meow, is that this one was bred at Walters Gardens by Kevin Hurd, and it is shorter and more compact and certainly a lot more sturdy than many of the older traditional varieties on the market. This one only grows about 18 to 20 inches high and has all the qualities of everything that we mentioned before. But sometimes with the older, more traditional varieties, they grow a little bit too rank and luxuriant in our fertile garden soils. And that's fine, but sometimes they get a little floppy and fall about. If that happens to your plants, you can go in with hedge and shears and just give them a trim in the middle of the summer. And guess what? They'll come back with young, fresh growth and lovely, strong buds that then, of course, will give you a new round of flowering. But with this variety, because it's been deliberately bred to be shorter and bushy, you probably don't need to do that nearly as much. Now, as I say, they're terrific plants, lots of wide uses in the garden. But the other interesting thing about catmints is that when you crush the foliage, they emit an aroma that attracts cats. Cats will often come and brush against them and sometimes roll in them. Now that's fine to many people, but if you're troubled by cats continually rolling in your nepotas and breaking them all down, there is a little simple fix, a tip that I will pass on, and I apologize in advance to any cat owners. That is that you can go and find uh, some shoots of roses or prickly berberuses. You just need little sprigs of them and then just pop them in between the canopy of your nepotas and your cats are probably going to find somewhere else to roll. So if you're going, in summary, if you're looking for a really nice, compact, sturdy, free flowering variety that's going to look terrific in a sunny, well-drained position, look for this variety. It's called Nepeta Cats Meow from Proven Winners.